Hi, this is Kristen and Little P from Rascal Rides. Today we are doing a review of the Bell Spark Junior Helmet. Um, P here has got strep throat, so we are just doing this review today from home, from the comfort of the couch. And he's also got some wiggly loose teeth here, as you can see. Anyway, <laughs> so the Bell Spark Junior, this is a pretty new helmet in the Bell lineup. It is a smaller version of the adult Bell Spark Jr., which is kind of cool because if you want to have matching helmets with your child, now you can. This is a higher end helmet, which is more than a lot of kids' helmets, but we think it's worth it. As you can see here, it has MIPS technology, which if you're not familiar with MIPS, it's an extra liner. It's this red thing here inside the helmet, and it helps um, create an anti-friction layer inside the helmet that can help with rotational forces against your child's head. So if you want to keep their little noggin safe, this is a good helmet to do it. Other safety features on the helmet, you've got this good retention system here. The helmet only comes in one size, so the fit cage here helps um, tighten it down to their head size. The one thing we're not crazy about about this retention system is this dial. It's pretty tiny and hard for little kids' hands. Do you agree with that, Parker? Yeah, and they have a tough time tightening it themselves, especially if they've got gloves on. Um, just to give you a comparison of a fit dial that I really like. Here, the womb has got this nice big fit dial, which you can see little kids can grab a hold of easily. Uh, this one doesn't have any rubber or anything. It's just like a tiny little plastic dial. It's tough to turn. Uh, that's about the only thing we don't like about the helmet though. The side straps have this nice sliding piece um, for adjusting around the ear. It makes adjustments really easy. Also stays in place really well. Uh, the straps come here from the outside rather than the inside of the helmet so you don't have a lot of strap to get tangled or twisted. As far as ventilation goes, it does a great job of ventilation. It's got these great big holes, which in a lot of kids' helmets, you just have tiny little holes. They might say, oh, we have like 15 holes in our helmet, but they're really small. These ones are nice and big. There's also a ventilation channel going down the center. Uh, it's not as great as some other helmets. Again, I'm going to show you the womb helmet. It's got a whole bunch of these ventilation channels that you can see. Um, so we think this helmet probably has better ventilation, but the Bell Spark Jr. does a pretty good job. What do you think about the ventilation on this helmet? Does your head get hot? Yeah, so I, um, I've i been pretty pleased with the ventilation on it. If you've got a child who often has a sweaty head, or if you're riding in warm summer weather, uh, this is a good helmet for it. The other thing is the padding on it, and you can't really see it very well here, but it's porous, so it doesn't get quite as wet and bogged down with sweat as some other cheaper padding does. Um, I'll show you this one here. This is the Bell Sidetrack, and it's just got cheaper padding on it that doesn't have that porous material. So we like that on the Bell Spark. What do you like about this helmet, Parker? It's comfy. It's comfy. That's good. What else? It's easy to um, buckle. Okay. Yeah, that's a good thing to talk about. So the buckle on it is pretty easy to buckle. Um, he's six. He hasn't had any problems buckling or unbuckling it. It's just a standard buckle. Uh, it doesn't have a magnetic buckle, which we kind of prefer for kids. But by the time they're getting to be six, seven, eight years old, they can do this on their own. It does have a mountain bike kind of style, right? It's got this nice big visor on it which is a lot bigger than some other helmets. So here again, I'm going to show you the Bell Sidetrack. You can see how much bigger um, the visor is on the Bell Spark, which is nice because it protects their face from the sun, it protects their eyes from the sun. And also, if you end up having a face plant, this is going to be the first point of um, impact with the ground, which can do a little bit to help protect faces too in the event of a crash. As I mentioned earlier, this helmet only comes in one size. Uh, it fits heads between 50 and 57 centimeters in circumference. It's 
the same size as the Bell Sidetrack Youth or the um, Garo Trummer. It does weigh 345 grams, which is a little heavier than some other kids' helmets. So you just might want to take that into consideration if you're doing all-day rides or if your child's ever complained about a helmet being heavy or uncomfortable on their head. Um, this might not be the helmet for them. We haven't personally had any problems with the weight on his head. But again, we've probably the longest ride we've done on it is probably about three hours. So uh, for those all-day rides, it might not be the most comfortable one. This is the Bell Sidetrack again, which is kind of the cheaper version of the helmet. What is different between the two helmets? Not a whole lot. As you can see, again, I mentioned the size of the visor is larger on the Spark. Uh, the ventilation holes are larger on the Spark. Uh, Sidetrack has like kind of these cheaper straps that come from the inside rather than the sides. So there's more to get twisted. And the helmet, the padding isn't quite as nice on the side track as it is on the Spark. Um, it has that same dial that we're not a great fan of. So the Bell Sidetrack also comes in MIPS. It comes in a MIPS and non-MIPS version, so you're not missing out on MIPS if you want to go with the Bell Sidetrack. Uh, the Spark is definitely the nicer helmet, but if you don't want to pay the extra money, um, we like the Bell Sidetrack a lot too. So it's kind of a personal preference. Thanks for watching this review on the Bell Spark Junior. And make sure to hit subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notified every time we come out with a new review or a helpful video tip. Um, and thanks for watching. We will see you next time.